Hi, my name is Daniel and I want to show you a technique uh, that I use in kids ministry. So here's how it works. So just say that you have two separate tables. It doesn't matter what the size of the group. You can have two tables. You can have boys against girls, group A, B, C, doesn't matter. So what I usually have in my kids church, I have two different groups, group one and group two and I will do something that I like to call the point system. So I have, I have two tables. I have table number one, I have table number two. What table are you? One. one. What table are you? Two. two. All right, so I'm gonna do table number one and table number two. So I wanna give you guys table points because the more points that I give you, that means you guys get to dip your hands to the prize basket. I'll get to that in a second, but I'll tell you how to get points. First of all, here's how you do it. I'm looking for who's sitting up straight, both hands are left, feet on the ground, but the quietest child with the quietest table. I can't put my feet on the ground. Okay, so I want to give short. points to table number short. one, table number two. We're going to try this again. I'm looking for the quietest table. Awesome. So I'm going to do that. All right, I'm looking for... The table that has, everybody has their hands raised. See, you guys are awesome. So you guys know how to get table points. So here is how this works. I'm looking for who's sitting up straight, both hands left, sit on the ground, look for the quietest table. Awesome. Hey, so here's why you want to get table points. Because the table that gets the most points at the end of class today, you will be able to dip your hands into the prize basket. Now, who wants to see inside the prize basket? Me. Okay, so here we go. So here's kind of how, how it works. So I want to give out as many points as I possibly can. So I have two different groups, or it could be three different groups. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it could be four different groups. So the goal is, in the beginning of the class, I will give out, uh, let's just say, uh, I'll, I'll tell the kids, I'm looking for who's sitting up straight and quiet, or I'm looking for... Uh, I'll say something silly like who has the biggest ears or who has the biggest tongue doesn't matter and as I give out points I do that for a reason Because first of all the incentive for me to give out points what I have here the church has purchased this uh, For for me, so I didn't really have to invest if you're somebody who has to invest it, it's it's probably about ten dollars got got all of these uh, prizes a little prize basket uh, you, could, you could fill it up uh, from oriental training uh, dot com and it's just a bunch of cheesy little cheap toys and uh, the the goal is at the end of the service whichever team has the most amount of points they get to that that table or that group or however you split it up they get to dip their hands to the prize basket all right who wants to dip their hands inside the prize basket awesome so here's how this works I want to give you guys the most amount of points as humanly possible, but you have to do everything that I ask. So if I call on, if, let's just say I ask a question and somebody speaks out of turn, He's guess what? I can start taking away points. So as the kids, they begin to get a little restless. Usually that's what happens towards the end or towards the middle. Maybe they've heard my voice too long. I will, uh, after, after a while, I'll start taking points away and that kind of gives them an incentive for each one of them to start policing each other within their own group. If you speak out of turn, I might take away a point. Wait, no, that's table two, table one. So my goal is to give you as many points as I possibly can, but remember, I can also take away points. So who wants to get the most points? Okay, awesome. I hope that maybe this is helpful. I hope that this makes sense. Uh, please leave a comment below and let me know if this is something that uh, is helpful to you or if there's something that maybe you use at your church. I just want to get a conversation started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.